First of all, we need to have the concept of osmosis and osmotic pressure. Osmosis is the phenomenon in which the solvent molecules flows through the semi-permeable membrane from lower concentration solution to higher concentrated solution. And osmotic pressure is the minimum amount of pressure that is required to stop the osmosis or the flow of solvent molecules through the semi-permeable membrane. Now, let's understand the first method that is used to calculate the value of osmotic pressure. So you can see over here, the first method is Pfeffer's method. This is pronunciated as Pfeffer. Okay. So uh, Pfeffer method is widely used to calculate the value of osmotic pressure. In this, we use simple way to calculate like, uh, like vapor pressure. We use a manometer to calculate the value of osmotic pressure in Pfeffer's method. So first of all, let me draw the simple diagram and we will understand everything along with the diagram. Okay. So he, he considered a pot like this, but it was a special type of pot because this wall is made up of semi-permeable membrane. Okay, this is a semi-permeable membrane pot. Let me write it over here. Semi-permeable membrane pot semi-permeable membrane pot and this is connected to a tube like this and this whole pot is put in a big beaker big container okay and from here there is a outlet like this and this tube is sealed from here okay and this outlet is further connected to a manometer like this this is a manometer like this so I hope you consider the figure properly this is the semi permeable membrane pot this wall is made up of semi permeable membrane okay and it is kept in a big container and this is connected to the manometer through a tube and the other end of the tube is sealed it is sealed so this is the manometer over here manometer and inside this pot there is solution highly concentrated solution whose osmotic pressure is to be calculated and here this is the water or the solvent outside this pot there is this solvent okay this is the solvent and this is the solution solution and we know that in manometer there is mercury right this is the manometer okay let me read this portion first of all we need to make these two level equal and we need to put a scale over here that gives us the information about the height and as a result of that we can calculate the value of the pressure so this is the complete diagram of Pfeffer's method figure Pfeffer's Pfeffer's diagram okay and this is called Pfeffer's apparatus. Now, uh, let's understand what actually happens over here. Okay. So, this is the solution and due to the osmosis, what will happen? The water molecules will start to flow from the low concentrated region, low concentrated solution that is this distilled water or solvent to this solution. The water molecules will start to enter. Now, as a result of that, the what uh, the solution level will start to rise and as this end is sealed then obviously they will try to go this end now there is air as well that air will start to get compressed and as a result of that this air will push this level and the level of mercury in the left side of this manometer will start to decrease and in the right side it starts to increase and this phenomenon will keep on happening this will keep on increasing that means obviously there is pressure being generated right now there will be a time when this phenomenon stops 
when this phenomenon stops over here like suppose this is point a so at point a this phenomenon stops now the mercury level in the right side of the manometer will not go up so what will happen we can measure the height difference like this right so this gives us the information about the height and if we know the height we can calculate the value of or pressure as well so that pressure is equal to the osmotic pressure so try to remember that by using the manometer a pressure is generated over here which pushes this liquid upside and as a result of that there will be a height difference and that gives us the value of pressure generated over here and that is equal to the osmotic pressure when this height is maximum okay so let me write it over here what uh, we are doing Pfeiffer Pfeiffer took a took a semi permeable semi permeable membrane semi permeable membrane pot and put the solution and put the solution in it here we put the solution in it the pot that is the semi permeable pot is kept in large container large container filled with filled with solvent solvent or water in most case the open end of the pot pot is joined to to the manometer manometer due to osmosis due to osmosis the level of liquid in manometer in manometer will rise will rise and and at a certain time at a certain time reaches to reaches to maximum maximum that height that height gives us gives us the osmotic pressure that height gives us the osmotic pressure Yes, sir. I have already uh, made a video in which we used manometer to calculate the value of vapor pressure. So osmotic pressure can also be calculated by using a manometer and this is how it is calculated. We just need this height and with the help of height we can calculate the required value of the pressure. So when it reaches the maximum height that is H then that is equal to the osmotic pressure. Whatever pressure is generated over here, we can calculate that mathematically. So that will be equal to the osmotic pressure because it stops the osmosis. And when it reaches the maximum height, the water molecule stops going inside. That means the seize of osmosis and that is equal to the osmotic pressure.